record this. So nice to meet you. Yeah, likewise. Nice to meet you guys. I was indulging some of your videos earlier. I'm really enjoying them, actually. So, uh, yeah, it's great. Oh, really good stuff. That's actually one of the things that we want to talk about, your guys' videos. We're doing our research and just looking at um, other ethical people out there around the world. And it was actually your guys' videos that captured us. Oh, we okay. just sat there for about yeah. for just a little over an hour, all the different types of videos you had done. The story on the guy. Jib Hagen. Um, yeah. Ghana, yeah. The recycling plastic guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In particular, that one, um, Wealth Not a Waste, which is the one with Jib uh, Hagen. Um, he actually only lives about eight miles away from me in Brighton. So he lives, well, he lives in Ghana and sort of Brighton. He's, well, he lives in Brighton, but visits Ghana a, a lot. And um, I met him through a friend of a friend of a friend kind of connection. Um, and at the time, they just wove baskets out of, out of straw. And the problem being, obviously, the climate change had pushed the elephant grass that they would normally use um, to make their baskets. They pushed it further south down country. So, you know, it could be a two hour or even a three hour journey on a bus for some of these women. Um, and there's obviously the inherent danger of females going off into the bush looking for looking for, for straws. That, and, 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 you know, and there's unfortunately some really sad stories around that. So, um, you know, fortunately that he kind of, in fact, it was his daughter, I think, I believe, who at school did a school project in how to try and weave with plastic. And he took that concept back to, to Ghana and the weaving communities and they learned how to weave these baskets out of recycled plastic. Um, and, and yeah, that's effectively what's happened. And it means that the weavers have a inundated supply of material. They don't have to go on these long journeys and expose themselves to the inherent dangers. And also, you know, they don't have to follow climate change. It helps them stay in the communities that they were, you know, they were born in. So. On, on many levels, it's, it's a very positive story because not, not, not only that, you've got the fact that they are reusing plastic waste as well. You know, yeah. um, much of the material is from a plastics make or well, plastic bag making factory in Accra, and it's a secondary waste. So all the stuff that they, they sweep up to put into bins to be whacked into landfill, that's intercepted and reused for, for, the, um, for the cases. But the interesting thing, I think, is that. They also use water sachets. And I think you would have seen in that video the issue around water yep. sachets and all the problems there. But actually, they use the water sachets. So in our cases, our sunglass cases, we have, uh, we use six water sachets in those cases. Um, so they're, they're kind of, they make some of the stripes of our, our cases. And what we're doing by doing that is actually we're, we're ensuring that people are picking up what is an inherent, you know, because people drink about 12 or 14 of these water sachets a day, just throw them on the ground. It's a single use plastic. Yeah. But actually, you're kind of putting a bit of value on them now because they realize they can use that to weave and it's a material. So actually, they're being picked up off the ground now and, and, and stopped. So, so yeah, again, it's, it's a nice positive story. You know, it's, it's obviously a sort of a very small, tiny dip in the ocean, but it's still a, a positive story that can come out of that and it can only grow and get better. So um, I don't know why I went off on one there, but, but, but yeah, that is also <laughs> It's, <laughs> it's my yeah. favorite video. It's my favorite video. I, I, I played it. Um, I played it and uh, I had to do a talk once and I played it. <laughs> and I, I filled up as I watched it and I, like, I had to speak after I couldn't oh. speak. About half a minute, I just I lost my voice and I just couldn't. I was kind of like, <gasps> And uh, <laughs> eventually somebody came, yeah, I, I managed to, to, to put it back. But for me, that's the real, you know, that's the real thing of, of, of change and, and seeing it happen and being out there talking to the people and knowing that actually you are making a difference. Perfect way to end. <laughs> that was just absolutely scripted, that was. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. been lovely chatting with you, John. You're an amazing human being. Thank and you. And we, we are utterly impressed by these. We love them. They're cool guys, awesome. I'm delighted. Cool stuff. Thank you. Okay, guys. Thank you.